everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we are going to talk about the text in Gray Designer. So we'll cover five essential things you need to know about the text in Gravit. And so first you will learn the basics of text in Gravit. Then you will learn how to set the text and path. We will cover the topic of web and system fonts line spacing, canning and word spacing and of course I will show you some tips on how to work with text in Gravit. And do not forget to leave a comments what you text options you want to see in the upcoming versions of Gravit Designer. So let's cover the basics. To start with the text tool you need to click T on your keyboard or head on to this letter T on the tools panel. So, with the text tool, place your cursor at the empty spot of your canvas to create your first block of text. Click at the empty spot to remove the selection and notice this blue bounding box around the text. Bounded box is more like the brim to the text, so you can resize it and it doesn't influence the size of the text. Although, if you make it too small, smaller than text, the text will be hidden, so overflow of your text by default is hidden. And you can always adjust its scale to the size of your text by clicking on these buttons on the appearance panel auto. That is that now the size of our bounding box just the same as the size of the text block. So this frame, this bending box also has these bullets in the corners and in the middle of each side. And by default not all of them created equal. On the bottom left you see this red bullet and if you drag it holding the left mouse button key, you will resize not only bounding box, but the text itself. But by default it works only with the red. If you drag, for example, these blue bullets, if you drag other bullets, you will resize only a bounding box without any influence to the text size. And if you want to rewrite this behavior, you can head on to the appearance panel and find this checkbox. Scale font on resizing. That is now, no matter where, where you drag and what you drag, the text will follow. And on top of this bounding box you will find this white bullet. Come over it and notice that uh, now our cursor is changed to the two arrows. Hold left mouse button key and rotate your block of text clockwise or counterclockwise. And last but not least with the text and the bounding box. You are able to align your text according to your bounding box. These are your alignment options. You can align to the left by default, align to the center and align to the right, as well as align vertically to the middle, to the bottom and to the top, which is default option. Next, of course, you can change the color using the color picker. You can change the font size. You can set your own typeface. You see there are a lot of options here. And all typefaces are divided into three groups. You can change the font weight, if available, and font size set in the pixels. What I really enjoy in Gravity Designer text that it can contain as many fill or borders as you like and adding these fills as easy as pie. So if you head on to this appearance fill menu and click on this icon to add a new fill, you will add a new fill. And then you can work with this fill dialog box as with any other fields in a Gravit Designer. So you can set liner, radial, angular gradients or you can set even a texture. 
preserving editability and scalability of your text. The same with the border, you can add as many as you wish and then you can go to the advanced border options and again all of these options are available for you and this is the key to the different text effects in Gravit Designer. So, in this chapter we're gonna talk about text on path. It's really easy to make your text follow the path in Gravit Designer. All you need to do is grab the text tool, come over the path, notice it highlighted with the red outline on the canvas and on the layers panel. That means your text is ready to be set. So click left mouse button key to place your text on path. The same as here. Let me select this text. Let me select the shape here. When I come over the shape, click with the left mouse button key. Viola, I place the text and pass and it uh, Gravit gives me this diamond shape bullet again. So I can really move my text along the path. It also gives me some additional options on the appearance panel. You can set your text inside the path or reverse the order of your text. And also control the distance. It's a space, amount of space between my text and the path. Gravity Designer has an extensive collection of the fonts. So if you head over this drop down, you will see that all fonts in Gravity Designer are divided into the three groups. And let me introduce you web fonts because it's built-in collection of Google library. It's a library of Google Fonts. And according to the Google Fonts website, all of their fonts are open source. That means that you can use them without any restrictions and obligation for all of your personal and commercial works, both in print and digital artworks. And as far as I know, all these web fonts from this dropdown a simply embedded collection of Google web fonts. And the right drop down has this system fonts that are installed and stored on your desktop. Gravity Designer has a very lean and very simple interface to control the line spacing, word spacing, and character spacing or kerning. So you can easily adjust these values uh, for your logos and headlines. So let's go through all of them. If your text block has more than one line, you need to deal with so-called line height. It's a height between two baseline. Imaginary lines in which the text sits. To adjust the line spacing in Gravit Designer, you need to head on to the line input and set the amount of space between two lines into percentages. The primary goal of the line spacing is readability. The generous amount of space in between the line makes text more readable. You can also adjust the amount of space between the whole words and characters in the sentence. In order to do this, you need to head on to appearance panel and find these two inputs. Word to adjust the word spacing, the amount of space between two words and character spacing to adjust the character 
space between the characters in the whole board. The process of adjusting and the amount of space also called leading. And the primary goal of leading is to avoid widows and orphans in relatively large blocks of text. And it of course makes your text more visually appealing and professional. Next is kerning. Kerning is the process of adjustment, not the space itself. There are certain problematic kerning pairs and certain rules of kerning that I extensively cover in Gravity Designer Medium blog in the article The Art of Kerning. So head on to description and find this article if you want to learn them. The primary goal of kerning is to make your logotypes and headlines to look well. Most of kerning problems do appear at the large size. To start kerning your pair, you need to double click to enter the word and then select the first character in a pair. In this case, I'm gonna kern the space between A and W. Then head on to the appearance panel, find the character spacing input and adjust the space. Kern your pair. Now let me show you some tips and tricks on working with text in Gravit. So first is how to generate the healthy amount of dummy text in Gravit. All you need to do is to start typing lorem and then press the spacebar to generate your dummy text. Second tip, you can convert your text into the outlines by going to the modify, pass, convert to pass, Control shift p Command shift p on your mark. This allows you to make adjustment to your text itself. And this is a way to adjust your text in order to produce letter marks in Gravity Designer. And last tip, in order to produce retro or vintage logotypes, we need to, we sometimes apply texture to distress our words. And in Gravit it's very easy. All you need to do is to place your textual layer on the bottom of the layer stack and texture respectively should be on top. Then head on to the tools panel and choose subtract boolean shape operator. You can see my video, I cover all of these boolean shape operators extensively, how they work in Gravity Designer. So click Subtract, wait for a while, and voila, we have our letter mark distressed into the Gravity Designer. And by the way, you can grab three textures available for free for Gravit, just click on the link on top of your screen to download them all. So that's all for today, thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more Gravit Designer wisdom and join Gravit Designer Tutorials group and Gravit Designer Users group. You can find the link in the comments.